Hello everybody and welcome to this week's first quick query video. These are videos based on questions from you guys. So this week's question, what are the cartilages of the throat? My name is Simon Hennessy here at Angus Yvonne Jack Hospital. So our throat and upper airway, or larynx and trachea, needs to be a tubular structure to allow maximum inflow of air down into the lungs. But in order for it to have this structure, it needs a skeleton of sort. But unlike the skeleton that supports the body of the horse, that has to deal with the pressures of weight bearing and forces such as compression, the, the throat doesn't have to deal with these sorts of forces and ideally needs a structure that's more lightweight and flexible. And that's where cartilage comes in because cartilage is a flexible, lightweight, yet semi-rigid soft tissue structure that is able to open maximally during the inflow of air and close maximally during swallowing to prevent the inhalation of feed down into the lungs and likely a subsequent uh, aspiration pneumonia. It, because it's lightweight, it needs only small muscle bodies around the throat to be able to move it, provided adequate nerve function is present. The cartilages of the throat include the epiglottis, the paired retinoid and thyroid cartilages, and the cricoid cartilage. From the point of view of these videos, the most important cartilages are the epiglottis and the retinoid cartilages. The epiglottis is the leaf-shaped cartilage that lies at the front of the throat. It lies completely flat during the inflow of air to allow maximal inflow of air, but during swallowing it flips backwards to cover the opening of the throat to prevent the inhalation of feed. The retinoid cartilages do something very similar. They open maximally during inflow of air, provided that their muscles and the nerve supply is not affected. And during this maximal opening, they provide tension on the vocal cords and keep them tense. And they also close off the entrance to the saccules or the ventricles on either side of the, of the vocal cords. They, and because of that, they have an important part to play in vocalization. And similarly, during swallowing, they close down and come together to block that airway to prevent aspiration of feed. And that's it. The cartilages are essentially the structure or the skeleton of the throat. I hope that answers the questions and, and makes things easier to understand next week and when we finally get back on track with our videos of laryngeal hemiplasia or paralysis of the throat. Join us then. Thanks. Thanks.